Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube. And welcome back to the Randy Orton Road to Glory series here on NCAA 12. And welcome back to WWE Tuesday. Yes, this is an extension of WWE Mondays, which is yesterday, which I haven't uploaded those yet because I wanted to upload all of them as a package. So now let's get started here. As we get started with Randy Orton, this is the second time of me recording this because I screwed up last time. So now here we go as we get our next. Here we go as the sun's starting to set in. We notice this is the first time. The last time I filmed, I had to upload the video was when I when the when the power went out, and now as you can clearly see, we have the power back on. And now let's get started here as we begin our next episode of the Randy Orton. He's from Texas in this game, even though he's from St. Louis, Missouri, in real life. So now let's get started here. As you can see, a lot, a lot of number 10 jerseys on the sign of the day. Sports Center is next. So this means this Thursday will be Road to Glory Thursdays here on the network. Here we go, and now it's time to get started here. So we're going to skip that entrance. So we're taking on the far tariff ends, get it? And we're going to defend this way. So now it's time for Randy to get to work with the midline quarterback ISO here. Yet yeah, he's an option quarterback, unlike Timmy, unlike Timmy Turner. As we got Burton and Jacobs running here, as you can see, and there's Randy. The size is tall size he gets three yards. Comes time for the try option center and uh oh. We all know how bad he stinks at these. Here we go. Well, not this time, but third and one. Triple option here. Mm-hmm. There we go. That's he gets the first down. He goes to the midline quarterback ISO again. Can we just give Randy a chance to pass, please? Seven again. Try option center again. He did so well the first time, and let's hope he does this time. Otherwise, it doesn't happen like normal. Yep, it happened like normal. 38, now it's time for the deep curl, so this will be Randy's first opportunity to pass. And Randy screwed up. Now it's time for the power option here. Now it's time for the slip screen here to the halfback, so... And he took too much time, and now he has to pay the consequences. So, a minute six left to go, as Randy makes the mistake. As there it is, and look at that, bud! Still short, fourth and three, so they're gonna have to punt it away. Aww. But now we're at the start of the second quarter. As Rio Grande Valley is up. It's, there's still no score here. As hopefully Randy makes, doesn't make a mistake. And there we go. That's what we like to see out of Randy. So he's two for three in passing so far. As we are getting ready to celebrate the end of Sam Slinger. In, in NCAA 12. Can't wait to see him in Madden 13. As he gets, as Randy gets sacked. As you can see right now, as right now we are getting, as the WWE is getting ready for the Night of Champions, which is taking place at the TD Garden in uh, Boston. And look at Randy, uh oh, look out, touchdown Razorbacks! And yes, I didn't call them the Killer Bees, didn't make fun of the hockey team, but 
Without Razorbacks to make a perfect pick, and that was a weird glitch I saw right there. Rewind the video, that was a glitch. Here we go. Now it's time for the 689 hook. As right now, as right now, everything's going exactly the way the Razor's backs are hoping. As there you see a great throw, and that was a pathetic attempt. So two for four. Now it's time for the triple option again here. So third and eight, time for the white sallow cross here. Oh, he dropped it. So, yeah, to punt it away. Now it's time for the drive here. Literally, that's what it's called. With two minutes left to go in the half. And there's the pass for the first good pass for the first down. So now it's time for the read option here. So Randy so far is doing a great job. And right now, and the, at the beginning of the series, we chose I chose all Texas schools because I thought he was from Texas. But if if Missouri does come up, I will take that option. I will make the option there. And there's a great pass there. So it's now third and three. Time for the tr option here. We're just going to call it TR option here. Up. Again. Now it's time for the trap option once again. So we all know what happens here. He's gonna probably going to get sacked again. Watch. So it's 7-3 far right now as it's as far as they're sacking the crap out of Randy. And I, now I'm starting to regret making him a regret making him an options quarterback. It, it's sad that he's the only guy that scored. So third and ten here. It's now time for the all go here with 17 seconds left. Hopefully this would hopefully gets hopefully this will lead to something good here. As there you see the throw. Ooh, look out! Oh, dropped it. He blew it. Now it's time for the Midland ISO again here. So second and three there, so that was a really good throw there. As right now as as here's there's Randy again and he got the first down. There's the first down. And right now it is really good so far. As things are going good and of course he gets sacked. Now he lost more yards. Uh, now time for the slot post here. Hopefully this will be the last chance. This is not going to be another last chance opportunity here. Right now, right now this is going to be a good one. And nope. They blocked him. So now they're going to get take advantage. Nope. They didn't take advantage to take the lead. So it is still 7-3. to three Here. Here as there is the Randy. Oh. 91 gave him a choke slam. Now it is time for the load option here. Right now, as there you see, and a look at that, and it's third and four. So now it's time for the 60 choice here. As there you see a throw, and oh, he dropped it. Ay, ay, ay. Quit dropping the ball, guys. Jeez, you're getting Randy really ticked off. Ugh. Bad defense. 
Now it's time for the deep attack. With 40 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And there's the throw, and look at this. Oh, yeah. Passing touchdown. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And it's now 13 to 7. 13 to 3, excuse me. As I make the mistake. That was a great throw by Randy Orton. Right, nice throw by the Viper. As we all, as I know, it doesn't look anything like Randy. I mean, that was a good throw. Now it's time for the control center week here with six seconds, literally. That's what it says, six seconds. As right now, as now continues here. As there you see Randy. As the clock will run out. And it is 14 to 3. Now it's time for the read option again here. Ugh. Now it's time for the quick slants here. As it's the third. And oh, should not have ran it. Now it's time for the wide record. Receiver corner as they're going for the fourth and six here. Hopefully this could be their turning point right here. As there it is, no oh, turnover. Ah, oh, that hurts. Now it's time for the midline quarterback ISO here. As we're taking far, far right now as. Well, he avoided the sack, and then he gained four yards. Time for the try option center here, and we all know, we know what happens 95% of the time when you do this play. You're going to get, what else, sacked. Yep. But he gets no gain there, so that's the... And now the halfback's finally going to get some action here, which is good, because... Which is good because he doesn't want any of this. He, he's been tired of this action, and there's that's what we like to see. Now, sorry for the fullback load option here. As we get ready to go here, as we get the new series that's coming up here, as the second and 11 here for the halfback pitch here. And right now, things right now are looking good here for. Uh, game! Now it's time for the all go here. Oh, so close! Now it's time for the halfback draw. This is technically the last chance, otherwise. Turnover, just as you expect. Now it's time for the halfback smash here, so I guess they're resting up Randy, because he was kind of banged up after this. He was banged up after all that. As look at that! That's what I like. That's the coach likes to see. Touchdown, Razorbacks! As right now, as it continues to go here, so it's 21-3. 36 seconds left to go in the game. Time for the halfback smash once again here as Rio Grande Valley gets ready to celebrate. As look at that. Oh, he broke loose it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wow, very impressive. Touchdown. Razorbacks. So now it is time, and that's the end. Randy had a 5 for 13 day with 131 passing yards with that one rushing touchdown with the 51 rushing yards, including their first touchdown of the game. So that pretty much does it for this episode as we get ready to start off the first WWE Superstar that will join the NBA franchise. We, we're going to count not one, but two of these series here. But now it's time to find out which teams are going to join Randy Orton. But first we're going to find out that UTEP, Texas Tech, and Baylor will have offered scholarships. As we got Arkansas, the Razorbacks, the Houston Cougars, and the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Funny fact, because of Hurricane Isaac, their game against Texas A&M was postponed. 
So we're gonna go continue with the Texas theme, although it'll be fun to see him play for Arkansas. Would be nice. But it's in, but Arkansas is already on someone else's radar, so I think we're gonna call it off right here. You know what, we're, cho we're choosing Arkansas. So I think this should just about do it for this episode. Come back next time as Randy Orton will hit the road to take on Brownwood. To take on the Bearcats. Later, folks, and see you guys in the new series.